The back room of Spencer's gifts. Remember what the Dormouse said. The local shopping mall in the 70s was the best place to find cookies, clothes, summer sausage kits, shoes, and weird orange drinks under one roof. But cool kids who knew what time it was headed straight for the alternative nation known as Spencer's Gifts. The front half of Spencer's played it straight, with gag gifts featuring rubber dog poo competing for shelf space with snarky coffee mugs and greeting cards for relatives with an actual sense of humor. The back room of Spencer's was where suburban boys and girls first tasted the day glow wild side. Harsh fluorescent lighting was replaced with a thing called black light. Black light gave anything remotely white a radioactive sheen, and there were dozens of posters featuring forbidden fruits such as Grateful Dead artwork and Pink Floyd album covers. The unmistakable scent of patchouli incense wafted over us. The sensory overload continued with strobe lights, plasma displays, and light organs that reacted to music. Lava lamps and black lights were a match made in hippie heaven. The trickiest part was to recover from this contact high before Mom whisked us off to the matinee movie. Star Wars, I know what you're doing now, and I like it. 